Welcome back to Interstates, where today we begin Season 3 with a scary route, that being Interstate 19. Well, actually calling this the beginning of Season 3 is a bit of a false start. The rest of Season 3 won't come out until next year, but I wanted to go ahead and get this one out on Halloween. So, what exactly makes I-19 so scary? Well... Man, I really gotta stop hanging stuff on that door. That's right, I-19 was constructed at a time in the US when there was considerable pushback calling for us to switch to the metric system. Now, obviously this change didn't happen, and it likely won't ever, but that didn't stop ADOT from building the entire route with metric signage. To be fair, when 19 was being constructed, the individual sections were signed with customary units, but they were signed with metric as a whole when it was complete. So we start our 101 kilometer long route at West Street in Nogales, Arizona, just 95 meters from the Mexican border. We head west, but almost immediately turn north to meet our first exit, that being Western Avenue. Our next exit is with Mariposa Road, which is followed by the northern end of Business 19. Ruby Road then reveals its running through exit 12. After this is Rio Rico, which receives two exits. Then we have Palo Parada Road. After this, we have an exit with Tumaca Cory Carmen. Oh, I'm gonna have a hell of a comment section with these pronunciations, aren't I? Say what you will about I-19. It may not be that interesting of a route, but it's quite scenic. Next up is Two Back, with two exits of its own. Following this, we have exits with Aguilinda Road, Aravaca Road, and <gasps> a rest stop. Oh good, I thought I was about to spontaneously lose consciousness. Kanoa Ranch is next, which then segues into Green Valley with Continental Road. Oh my god! A McDonald's! After this is an exit with Esperanza Boulevard, which then gives way to Duval Mine Road, and then Sahorita. Also, Pima Mine Road. You know, I'm noticing a big lack of state routes here. In every other interstate I've covered, there's been a whole slew of state routes, but here, it's just a bunch of local roads. This is demonstrated again in our next exit for Papago Road. Interestingly, though, this one doesn't really seem to go anywhere. Oh, and here's San Xavier Road. Just thought you might want to know. After that is Valencia Road, which then leads into Irvington Road, where, strangely after this, we switch back over to Miles for the last few... Uh, miles. <clears throat> Finally, we exit with Ajo Way, also known as State Route 86, before ending our trip at Interstate 10 in downtown Tucson. Next time on Interstates, we'll be heading just up the road to look at Interstate 8, until next time. Boo!